right now we are competing in a giant Miss America beauty pageant. I have four envelopes that contain four secrets about each and every one of you. Oh! Matt, I cannot believe you did that. Hey, Sam Fam, it's Rebecca. Where's the the dress? Uh, just right over there. Okay. Where do I put the balloon? Uh, on either side of the runway. Table's all set. When the other contestants? Uh, they should be here really soon. Okay, I'll be in the bathroom. Great. Uh, do they know they're gonna be contestants? No, I haven't told them yet. What do you guys say? No. Rebecca has no idea what I'm doing right now, but remember how she put crickets in my pants and she pinched me? Well, I have crickets right here. I'm gonna put crickets in her beauty pageant dress. This is gonna be the best prank ever. Let's go get these in her dress. Right now, we are competing in a giant Miss America beauty pageant in real life so we can compete for confidence. Yeah, the Game Master said confidence was one of the skills we needed to get into the other realm. Yeah, so we can defeat Mr. X and his army, but what the boys don't know. Wait, what don't we know? Um, we already have confidence. Yeah, we're gonna win this challenge. That's what it means. Okay. Yeah. Um, the zipper isn't quite. Um, it's I'll not get done. It. I'll get it. Okay. Here we go. I mean, I guess it feels yes. a Three, little bit. Three, two, one. There you go. What is that? What's happening? I got, I got a cricket on me. Ah! Cricket! Ah! Everywhere! Ah! Everywhere! Oh my god! Oh! Connor, that was the best prank that ever. Was hilarious. Okay, now let's clean up the crickets. They're all over the house. Did yes, yes. Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that was the best prank ever. Okay, Sam Fam, I literally had crickets in my dress. I just hope they are still not there. This is a beauty pageant for confidence, but what the boys don't know is that the contestants that we are competing against is them. So they are going to be Miss America beauty pageant contestants. They're going to have to wear a dress. And now, Maddie and I don't feel bad about it. <gasps> crickets are all picked up, man. That was a good prank. How's everything going, man? You know what, Matt? I'm kind of sad that I missed my graduation, but at least Maddie's okay, though. You missed your graduation? Yeah. Matt, I I cannot believe you did that. You put crickets in my beauty dress? Yeah, you did it to me first, though. You put crickets in my pants. Okay, but you deserved it. I didn't deserve it this time. That I was mean, not cool, Matt. It was pretty good. Yes! Was pretty good. It was not yes. cool at all, and we have spent hours decorating for this Miss America beauty pageant. We have a red carpet. We made sashes. We have a judge's table. A boom box. And we even have the Barbie confessional. What's the Barbie confessional for? And where are the other contestants? Who are they? Is it the Wilking sisters? Rosanna Pancino? Maybe Sophie Dossi? Well, actually, the, the contestants, contestants are here right now. Wait, they stuck in our house? Maddie, can you grab the dresses? Oh, yeah. yeah. Who, who's here? Who is it? The contestants that we're competing against in this Miss America beauty pageant oh. are... You guys. No! No! Are yeah. you kidding me? No yeah. way! The Game Master said we all need confidence. You guys need confidence. You have to do this. This is like anti-confidence right now. This is the big question, though. Do you want blue or do you want green? Connor, you get to pick first. We're definitely not wearing dresses, but if I'm going to wear one, like, green's my color. All right, guys. Yes, I'm blue. Okay, Zam fam, another secret that the boys don't know is who our mystery judge is going to be. Yeah, I don't even know who the judge is. Comment below who you think the mystery judge is going to be. Oh, no. <gasps> the boys! Win this competition in this thing. Honestly, it looks really good on you guys. This yeah. competition is gonna be easy to win. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But who's the mystery judge? Oh. Oh. Right now. Oh. Hey, Hello. come on in, Halloween hacker. Thank you. Who invited the Halloween hacker? He was at the fairy tale wedding. And Clue in real life. Thanks for coming today. No problem. You know, I feel like I owed you one now. I'm not hypnotized by Mr. X. I can't stay in that guy. Maddie, did you know about this? Did she tell you? No, I had no idea. Oh, I'm so upset right now. Hey, what am I doing here? You are going to be our special guest judge for our Miss America beauty pageant. All right. I could do that. Great. Hey, ladies. Oh, no. Hello. We're not ladies. Well, I am. You know what? You can tell by my shirt, okay? My hat. I'm not a lady. Last time I saw you, you had a red wig on. Okay. And then the time before that, you were wearing a Batgirl costume. Oh! Those are disguises! Just like today, it's a disguise, okay? I need this for confidence. Yeah, we are competing for confidence. That's right. Which is why we thought the Halloween hacker would be the perfect one to judge us, because he doesn't have a bias on anyone. I mean, he likes all of us equally. <laughs> you know what? What? I know that all of you helped bury me last Halloween. Oh. I did some digging of my own. That's right. Right here, I have four envelopes that contain four secrets about each and every one of you. What? I mean, I don't have any secrets. Actually, I have secrets, and they're gonna be 
remain secret. That's where you're wrong. See, because the winner gets to choose an envelope and that envelope might contain your secret. Oh no. Secrets, what are you talking about? He's not checking our phones, right? <laughs> okay, how do we know whose secret it is? You're gonna have to figure that out about yourselves. This changes things a little bit, but I have nothing to hide, so that's totally fine. Let's start this beauty pageant Miss America thing. I hope you guys are ready because this beauty pageant starts in one minute. Zamfam, the Halloween hacker said that there are secrets about all of us in that envelope. My secret happened pretty recent, but I cannot let anyone know what I did. Wait, they're gonna reveal our secrets? I wouldn't reveal it if it was important. I might have like taken something from the castle, but I, it's not a secret. I wouldn't hide anything from Rebecca. What's up with all these secrets? Like, I don't have any secrets. Wait, where's my phone at? Okay, my secret might have to do with my head hurting, but I can't let them know. Are you kidding me? Rebecca brought the Halloween hacker to judge us? I mean, who is he to judge? Also, secrets? I mean, I don't have any secrets. None that I want anybody to know about. I'm this one. Can Grab I your crowns, you guys. Please. Hurry. Guys, we forgot about the gold box in the crouch that the Game Master gave us. I'm gonna grab that. Wait, I'm Mr. Question Mark? Because, like, you guys don't know me, right? But I think this dress looks good on me. Does Zoe like the color blue? Asking for a friend. What kind of challenge is this? I mean, I get it, Mr. Slays. I have to wear this because I am Mr. Slays. But why do I have a crown? I'm a guy, and it's gonna cover up my hat. Okay, here is the Game Master's box. Remember, the Game Master said that we shouldn't open this box until we've mastered all of the skills that he said. But do you think I should quickly look in it? Also, I mean, do you think I can win with this? This is a winnable dress, right? Oh, it looks like I missed 2711. Comment down below if you know what those numbers mean. I think it means I'm gonna win this competition. Wait a second, where's Rebecca? She's kind of been gone for a while. I'm gonna go check on her. Maybe I'll just do it really fast. Rebecca? Oh, wait, you didn't open the box, did you? The Game Master said not to. No, I didn't open the box. I was just grabbing it. Okay, oh, you have a leaf in your hair. Oh, it's a huge leaf. That's weird. Okay, let's get back to the beauty pageant. So, Matt, do you like put on dresses a lot? I never put on dresses. Are you kidding me? Do you have shoulder pads on? I think like, what so. is this? Hey, guys, we're ready to start the competition. I have the box. We'll just set it aside. Finally ready. It took forever. Okay, well, I'm ready. Let's start this Miss America beauty pageant. Contestant number one, Mrs. Zamfam. She loves her dogs, Peanut and Blackjack, enjoys playing pranks on her husband, Matt, and is always up for a good slime. Contestant number two, Miss 2711. She loves working out with her cousin Rebecca. It's true, she loves working out with me. Doing TikToks and dressing like a princess. Comment below who her favorite princess is if you know. Contestant number three, Mr. Slaves. Yep. He loves driving his Tesla, cutting fruit with his samurai sword, and going on dates with Mr. X. What? No, I don't! <laughs> I think he kind of liked it. He likes being Anna. Contestant number four, Mr. Dot, 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 question mark. Not much is known about this contestant. He enjoys long, oh, no, sorry, short walks on the beach, basketball, and girls named Zoe. Wait, 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 wait. That's for my friend. That's not for me. That's not what the card says. Wait, does Connor have a crush on Zoe? Oh. oh. That explains a lot. Hey, yeah. Connor. Yeah. Guys, I swear I don't like Zoe. And now it's time for a TikTok challenge. We love a good TikTok. No, Ugh. we don't. Yes, we do. You guys, so now we are doing a TikTok challenge for this beauty pageant, and you guys know we are competing for confidence. The Halloween hacker will be rating us on our confidence in this TikTok. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Okay. All right, well, I know Mrs. Zamfam is ready to go, so uh, let's TikTok it out. Maddie's teaching us, so we start just with a little like sway left. And Maddie's taking the lead with the confidence. She's teaching everyone how to do the dance. Right, left. And then you throw the flowers throw back. Them. Rebecca doesn't quite know it, but she's got the confidence. She's stepping right up in the front. So, you know, for confidence, the boys should like boom, boom, boom. boom. Okay, boom. I'm still learning. Pop the hip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, boys. You're going to totally have confidence. Show that money. Show the money. Show the money. Matt's not doing too bad. He looks kind of into it. I think he likes wearing dresses. Connor, this is better than a graduation, huh? A graduation would have been cooler. But... Okay, but a beauty pageant's okay. cool. Okay. okay cool. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. This is it? You guys, make sure to follow all of us on TikTok. Are you guys yeah, ready? But just don't show this one. I think the real surprise of the day is Connor. He's showing a lot more confidence than I expected. All right, so we did our TikTok dances. Now it's time to see our scores. I am going to be judging you based on a one to five, five being the highest. First up, Maddie, five. She crushed it. Oh! Next up, Rebecca. Not as good, but still pretty good. She gets a four. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't quite get it as much, but I'll take a four. Saving the best for last, probably. Matt and Connor get the same score. Their effort was great, but their dance was mediocre. So they get a three. We get rated together? What? Uh, good job, guys. And now, we have the DIY dress round. DIY dress round, Maddie, we're good at DIYs. I mean, 
we fail sometimes, but we can win this. Where you have to accessorize your dress with household items. You have one minute. Time starts now. Oh, go, 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 go. I gotta make a dress out of noise. A bowl, paper towels, I guess I use this. Oh, yes, yes, almost forgot. We have tin foil. This is the best DIY thing ever. All you do is put it right here, make yourself a sash, hide over once right here, and now I actually have a turtleneck. I look like Harry Potter. Do I look like Harry Potter? Okay, so I have to accessorize this dress. I can just wear a bag over the dress. That's a perfect accessory. I just need to like rip it open. Okay, fam, fam. So I just go like this. Do you guys think I'll win this DIY round? Ooh, toilet paper. I can wrap toilet paper. All right, I have no idea how I'm gonna DIY this dress. I am not gonna DIY this. What is there? In here. A towel? Do you think I can use that to make something out of my dress? One wrap around is pretty good. Maybe put the bowl on my head for more accessories. I think this is good for right now. You know what Harry Potter has? She has a wand. So let's go ahead and make a wand. This is the most unique and crafty thing I've ever done. Spelliamos! What does he say? Oh, maybe like a headpiece or oh, a cape, a cape. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, my head really hurts. Uh, no one can know. Okay, I have to go back out there. You guys know this is all about confidence. Even though I'm wearing a DIY dress and it's maybe a little bit ugly, I just have to be confident in it, you know? You guys better hurry. Time is running out. 10, 9, 8, oh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Got it. 2. Now it's time to judge. All right. <laughs> Contestant number one, please explain your DIY dress. Well, you know, I wanted to go with a waterproof dress because it rains all the time here in Los Angeles. Not all the time, but you have to be prepared in case it does, because it does a couple times a year. And I wanted to accessorize it with a toilet paper belt because if you're a DIY queen, of course you wear a toilet paper belt. That's my DIY outfit. Great. Okay. Next up, contestant number two. Please explain your DIY dress. I am using this towel as a cape because you may be in a beauty pageant by day, but who knows when you need to turn into an incredible in real life. Interesting choice. Is that supposed to be a cape? Next up, contestant number three. Please explain your DIY dress. I start off with a scarf and end with a scarf from Harry Potter. I'm a wizard. I have my wand, a spell almost. I just won. See, look at that. Okay, hold on. I got an extra one. What? Yeah. Just in case. I'm actually a big Harry Potter fan. Yeah, video games, man. Are you like a video game hacker? Actually, yeah, you wanna play some Roblox later? Or? No, no one plays Roblox anymore. Okay, contestant number four. Please explain your DIY dress. I have a very nice robe and ready to absorb anything. Oh man, he got the paper towels. That's so much stronger than the toilet paper. Oh no. And a nice hat in case you know there's a storm outside. Well, I guess it's functional, so that's something. A cape would have been so much better with those paper towels. See, that was supposed to be a cape? Yeah. Oh. Okay, and now it's time to reveal the scores of the DIY dress contest. Yes. Rebecca, three. Okay. Maddie, two. A two? It's okay, there's more rounds. Matt gets a three. A three? With this? Expelliarmus! That's actually a four. You get a four now. How did you do that, Matt? I have no idea how that happened. That was actually amazing. Good job, Matt. Did you see that? Am I a wizard? Am I Harry Potter? You know what? I'm not the boy who lived. I'm the boy who slayed. CFM, did you see what happened to Matt's wand? What was that? All I know is that he has confidence and I'm not going to say anything else. There's no way I'll even win this competition. Don't even comment my name down below. And Connor gets a four. I won! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. It was a close second, right? Okay. Put it away. And now, on to our next next round, the talent portion. Yes. Let's do this. All right, Sam fam, I have shorts on because my talent is gymnastics. Now, I'm not supposed to do a ton of gymnastics, but I think if I can just balance on my hands, I'll impress the Halloween hacker and I'll win with the most confidence for the talent competition. You guys know my stomach's still a little bit upset. Okay, let me try. Okay. Okay, I don't wanna do too much now, but I think I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be able to hold this for at least a minute. Zamfam, comment below who you think is going to win this Miss America beauty pageant, and whose secret do you think we're gonna find out today? All right, so I'm gonna be doing a TikTok dance for my talent. I kinda have this dance just like come to me. I don't really know what it is, but I'm thinking just like dab, dab, spin it around, drive the car. I feel like I've done this before, but I don't really know where. I'm probably gonna sing. It's gonna be amazing. I don't even need to like practice it all. I'm just gonna have the words come out of my mouth. That's how confident I am. Also, are they really telling Secrets today. And whatever you do, do not screenshot me in this dress. I mean, this is the worst. I'm kind of shy, but I think if I use my two favorite things, I'll be good. A basketball and poetry. So I combine them. I'm gonna use a poem about basketball. If I never met you, I wouldn't feel the pain of losing your sweet embrace. Wait, or are you stuck in my brain? Is that a poem about basketball? Yeah, I love basketball. You sure it's not about a special someone? Yeah. No, it's about basketball. Okay. I don't need a beauty pageant to show my confidence. I mean, I have confidence. I am confident. I'm Mr. Confident. It's like my middle name. 
Matt, confident slays. I have my poem that I wrote from my heart, but I don't think I'll be able to perform it. Like, I'm gonna mess up. ZFM, Connor seems really off today, and I know confidence is what this competition is about. I don't know if he has it right now. I just don't know what's upsetting him. I can't believe Connor came to save me and missed his own graduation. I mean, he seems super upset about it. I wish there was some way that we could cheer him up. Okay. Okay, you guys, we got this. Remember, the Game Master said we just need confidence. So whatever you do, just be confident in whatever talent you have, okay? And remember, we're all winners. It's just one of us will have a secret reveal. Oh, hold on. Oh! Contestant number one. And what will you be doing today? Today, I will be performing a gymnastics routine of mostly handstands since that's all I'm really allowed to do. Great, nothing's more exciting than a handstand. All right, Rebecca's up first, and she better not be doing gymnastics. The doctor told her not to. I think she's doing gymnastics. <sighs> Wow, that was uh, actually pretty impressive. Nice job. Thank you, yeah, you know, usually I can do more, but this summer thing, Mr. X kinda got me. I'm not really allowed to do a lot, but uh, yeah, still give me a number five, five out of five. Okay, I think she's done, it's my turn. Contestant number two, and what will you be performing for us today? Today, I will be doing a TikTok dance to a song I found on my phone. Another TikTok dance, guess they like TikTok. Okay. You didn't do gymnastics, did you? A handstand's not gymnastics, it's kinda like walking on your hands, it's not gymnastics. Okay, Maddie's out there doing a TikTok right now. Pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I fit it up. Up in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bag. She's doing the dance that she was hypnotized doing. Zamfam, comment below if you remember the dance from the fairy tale castle. I don't remember the rest. I forgot the dance. I forgot the dance. You know, that song and dance is really familiar, and I just can't place it. Okay, bye. Thank you, contestant number two. I mean, this is gonna be pretty easy to beat. I got this. Next, contestant number three. Hey, it's me. Great, and what are you gonna be performing for us today? I'm gonna be singing an original song that I'm writing in front of you right now. Awesome. Maddie, how'd it go? I kinda forgot the dance halfway through, but it was fine. Are you okay? No, I'm just upset. I like messed up the dance. You ready for this? This is a competition about beauty pageants. I never thought I'd wear a dress, but I got one on and it's looking real good and everything's going great. I mean, how can you not rate me a five out of five? Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, that end was actually kind of hit a note there. Not bad. A little bad, but not terrible. That was a really high note. That was really high. Really high and really terrible, you guys. guys what? Oh, oh, hey, Matt. Good job. Connor, you're up last. No, I haven't memorized my poem yet. You'll be fine. You got this. You got it. Remember, confidence, Connor. All right, contestant number four. And what will you be performing for us today? I will be reading a poem I wrote about my basketball. That's different. I didn't even know he likes poetry. He seems really nervous, you guys. I hope he does it okay. Yeah, I think it might be about a girl. If I never met you, I wouldn't be afraid of losing, losing. Man, I can't do anything right now. He stopped, he just ran off. This has been happening ever since he couldn't go to graduation. Zamfam, comment below what you think we should do. Connor has been really upset since he missed graduation to save his sister Maddie. We have to do something, you guys. This isn't okay. He's gotta get his confidence back. Sounds like it's Maddie's fault. I would be so upset if it was my fault. Man, I kinda felt bad for that guy. Maybe I should give him a little pep talk. Yeah. Hey, Connor. Can I talk to you for a second? Yes. I gotta let you know, man. Confidence doesn't mean you have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. It just means that you gotta go out there and give it everything you got and know that that's good enough. And once you get that, you got everything. Look at me. I was buried underground for six months and I'm still here. Wow. Confidence. You got this. All right. All right. By the way, do you like Roblox? No. ZFM, right now it's been two rounds and if you add up all our scores, we are all tied with seven points. Comment below who you think is gonna win. Okay, I don't remember how I know that TikTok, but it's just so familiar. I definitely know it from somewhere. Comment down below if you guys know where this TikTok's from. The Halloween Hacker's a really cool guy. He gave me really good advice and I think I'll be able to win this last round. Going into this round, everyone is tied with a seven. Yeah, we all had sevens, obviously. Total. I mean, we got different points. For sure, but there's a tie. So, let's go through the score. In first place, with a score of a four, is Rebecca. Oh! Everyone else was, let's just say, mediocre. The remaining three contestants all scored a three. So that means I'm in the lead. All I have to do is win this last and final round. And then you're gonna pick out what secret is revealed. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I kinda don't wanna win, cause I don't want that burden on my shoulders. I mean, revealing somebody's secret? And with that, we move on to our final round. The interview round. Just gonna be asking you a few questions. Nothing too hard. I got confidence. Beauty pageant, woo! 
First up, we have Rebecca. Come on up. Wish me luck. You got yeah. this. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Rebecca, what is the last thing that you did that showed you have confidence? Well, that's easy. I just did a cringy dance for everyone to stare and watch at me, and I didn't even care. <laughs> Certainly exuding confidence. Uh, okay, and your final question. Why is confidence important? Confidence is important to me because there are a lot of hackers out there that are bad. Not you, Halloween hacker, obviously. But it means that I can defeat them and I know no matter what, good will outweigh bad and everyone in the Zamfam will be able to unite to defeat those bad people. Good answer. Thanks. Okay. And um, I want world peace, yeah. Contestant number two, Maddie, come on up. What is the last thing that you did that showed you have confidence? I've been trapped a lot, but every time I stayed pretty calm and always found clues so that we could defeat Mr. X. That's true, she's been trapped a lot. I do love that. Okay, how about the second question? Are you ready for this? I think so. Why is confidence important? Confidence is important to me because it means that I could just walk up to a ghost and not be scared at all, you know, like not cry, not scream, none of that. Good answer, thank you very much. Thank you. Good job, Maddie. Okay, she did okay. Okay, contestant number three. Come on up. Hi, I'm Matt. Hi, Matt. What's the last thing you did that showed you have confidence? I just sang that song. <laughs> Made it up on the spot. No one knew the lyrics before I sang. Not even myself. I mean, that's confidence, sure. Second question, why is confidence important? Because that would mean I'd have a new best friend, and his name is Matt, and I'm okay with that. Did you just say that you were your own best friend? I'm confident enough to call myself my own best friend. Myself. Did he just quote Ariana Grande? I think he did. He did. So not confident. On to number four. Thank you very much, Matt. Good job, Matt. Thank you. I was awesome. I mean, Thanks, guys. I mean, just quoted Ariana Grande. No, he didn't. Okay. Hey, you're the last contestant. I've got two questions for you. The first question is, what's the last thing you did that showed you have confidence? You guys, I'm kind of worried about Connor. He seems so upset yeah. and withdrawn since he missed his graduation. What do we do? Comment below what you think we should do for Connor. I mean, we want him to be happy here and, and he saved his sister. Well, the last thing I did was I missed my graduation, put on disguise, and saved my sister from the castle. He did do that. Yeah. Actually, very impressive. Thank you. Second question, why is confidence important? Confidence is important to me because I'd be able to ask a girl on a date, especially older girls. Maddie's older? Oh, sister. I saw that on TikTok, okay? Sorry. Okay, that was a prank. Oh, okay, Connor. Seems like my pep talk helped you out a little bit. It did. An older girl, you guys. Comment below who you think Connor likes that's older than him. All right, well, that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that is the end of the round. I'm going to tally up the scores, and we're going to find out who the winner is. And then soon, there will be a secret reveal. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much for participating in this amazing challenge, but now it is time to reveal who is the winner of the Miss America Beauty Patch. I got this. In third place is Maddie. Okay. It's not last. Woohoo! Drum roll, please. Oh. First runner up is Rebecca. Okay. I'll take it. First runner up. I still have confidence. I'm confident that I didn't win. You're welcome. Zamfam, I'm so excited to be the runner up. Obviously, I wanted to win, but who do you think's gonna win? Comment below, Matt or Connor. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time to announce the winner. Definitely gonna win this. I'm definitely gonna win this. Oh man, I'm nervous. I think I'm gonna throw up. All right, with all of the scores tallied up, the winner of the competition is Connor. Oh! Sing a song using your talent. Fine, of course. Here we go. Oh, Connor, it's the best day. You're having a good day, and you did it your way. Oh, Connor, having the best day is the best day, Connor. I'm so happy that my brother won, but I just wish that we can make him feel happier since he missed his graduation. I can't believe I won. This is the best day ever. I think I know who I'll give these flowers to. You did it. Did you guys forget? My rose? No. The secret! Now it is time for you to choose one of these four envelopes to reveal a secret about someone standing next to you. Don't choose mine, Connor! Well, since I was number one, I'm gonna go with number one. Oh! oh. 
envelope. It's another envelope. An envelope inside an envelope. Is this a trick, Halloween hacker? It's all part of the plan. Oh wait, one of you has been texting Agent R. Maddie. Maddie. Where's that secret, guys? No, I haven't been texting him. We broke up. Matt, have you been texting Agent R? I don't even have his number. ZFM, I have not been texting Agent R. Maddie. I are... definitely have not. Okay, you guys, comment below what? who you think's been texting Agent R. Speaking of text, Dana what? just texted me. The next challenge is already set up in the backyard. Okay, ZFM, make sure that you are subscribed to the Matt and Rebecca channel. We need to figure out whose secret that is, and we need to get in the backyard to do the next challenge so we can go and defeat Mr. X in the realm like the Game Master said. It looks so awesome! But whose secret is 